Uh, good afternoon, my name is Hei Sun Kim, advisor of Gangnam Labor Law Firm. Today, uh, with the Labor Attorney Jong Bong Su, we will discuss about uh, an interesting article published by uh, Labor Daily. It's uh, regarding uh, two uh, contract-based uh, daycare workers, uh, employees, employed by the Chol Won Local District Government Office. So could you uh, briefly explain about the story of this article? Yeah, this article is uh, shown uh, on Korean uh, daily labor. So this is very interesting because uh, 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 two uh, contract workers uh, who worked uh, at uh, Choron uh, Gun government uh, office was uh, um, uh, terminated due to the expiration of a uh, uh, contract period. But they were hired uh, four years ago, uh, but uh, they, ha they uh, had a two-year contract. But after two years, um, they were uh, hired in uh, uh, 2019. Then after two years, uh, 2021, um, so th uh, the, this uh, government office informed them their contract is expired. So they posted uh, some uh, advertisement uh, for employment. So in this uh, new hiring advertisement, only those two workers applied uh, for their positions and they were hired uh, through interview process. But important is um, only two people applied uh, who, uh, like, uh, who the country was expired, but uh, their work was the same as people, then they had two years contract, then after two years, in 2023, uh, they were informed the expiration of their contract, so that means they were fired uh, due to the expiration of their contract period. So they are taking legal action for this uh, uh, would be unfair dismissal. So this is a labor case shown in this uh, uh, daily article. I see, I see. So the, they, they were originally employed, uh, signed the contract in uh, 2019, but the same two people was yeah. re-employed. Yeah. So they considered that uh, after the unfair dismissal that they are not well treated mm -hmm. uh, based on the contract. So uh, what uh, did the, the article show any conclusion? Yes, yeah, so mm -hmm. uh, the conclusion is not decided yet, but mm -hmm. uh, as a labor attorney, I can translate it like this one. According to the Article 4 of the Fixed Term Protection Workers Act, so in this case, um, the contract period cannot exceed more than two years. Then after two years, contract is regarded as non-fixed term contract. So uh, those uh, day, uh, daycare workers, their contract period expired, but their contract was renewed. Um, but the, this uh, government office, uh, they uh, informed them expiration of the contract period. Then the contract was uh, uh, terminated, but immediately they hired them again for the same position. So they said um, they posted the advertisement for employment, then only two people applied for their positions and they were hired immediately. So they worked two years. Then after two years, they didn't renew the contract period, but uh, they informed them expiration of contract period. So in this case, it is like uh, the unfair dismissal because uh, the, there are no uh, the, uh, like uh, the between the uh, the first country of two years, second country, there are no interval. Only automatically their country is uh, renewed. Only thing is the uh, company uh, informed them the termination of the country, first country and uh, they had the interview process, but the uh, country was renewed. So as a labor team, when I think of this situation, the, the, the position they worked the uh, permanent position is not temporary or some project based. Also, the working condition is the same as before. So, in their perspective, they worked uh, four years completely, continuously. Uh, also, some government office, uh, they even though they have uh, some 
rehiring process through uh, some recruitment process but that is only uh, the pro like uh, um, some their way to show it is a new country but as a labor three countries uh, continue the uh, another two years after completing the two years so uh, I think uh, they uh, this uh, uh, this uh, expiration country is a kind of unfair dismissal to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see. In a way, uh, my uh, uh, consideration is like uh, Choron local government district office um, took advantage of the mm -hmm. two same workers mm -hmm. because uh, they were already trained for the past two years and then renewed the mm -hmm. uh, contract. Yeah. So, uh, as a labor attorney, if if they come this uh, uh, contract-based daycare workers, they come to seek your advice. Mm -hmm. What would be the your uh, ideal yeah, advice? Yeah, they already take legal action to the Gangwon Labor Commission, where they can um, um, like uh, um, apply for remedy. So. In this uh, uh, labor commission, it's kind of labor court. Judges will decide uh, whether uh, this contract is uh, uh, the uh, like uh, is non-fixed contract because the contract is uh, renewed after two years. So, my opinion is uh, uh, there are no big interval. Uh, mm -hmm. Like first after uh, completing first two year contract. Uh, their country is renewed automatically for another two years. Mm -hmm. That means, um, according to Article 4 of the, the Fixed Term Country Employment Act, so employee cannot hire the workers more than two years. Mm -hmm. So then after hiring two years, uh, this country is regarded as a non-fixed term uh, country. Mm -hmm. So according to that law, uh, these two workers, uh, their country is, was renewed. So uh, now it's the third year, fourth year, now fifth year. I mean, uh, the, the after two years, they had a new country. So new country can be regarded uh, as a non-fixed country. So I'm very much sure uh, this uh, um, the termination, I mean, this expiration of a second year, uh, the country is a kind of uh, the unfair dismissal to me. Yeah. Mm, I see. Thank you very much for your advice. Okay, thank you. Watching. Bye-bye.